Um, hello. Ni hao. Uh, my name is Simon Yu. Uh, I'm from National Taiwan University. In today's lecture, I would like to uh, uh, introduce you the uh, an approach and uh, tell you about how assessing uh, community quality of life in the context of tourism development. So basically, uh, this topic is uh, concerned about the uh, tourism impact in uh, in the uh, of the under the process of the tourism development, and uh, uh, you will know the uh, what is co uh, community quality of life, and uh, what's the relationship between the community quality of life and uh, the tourism impacts, and uh, the finally. Uh, we will go through the an approach assessing uh, community quality of life. So here are the three highlights of the course objectives. Uh, I try to help you understand the role of the host community in sustainable tourism development and uh, understanding the tourism impact and the resident quality of life and uh, assessing resident community quality of life in the current in the context of tourism development. In the next slide, we are starting with the definition, sustainable tourism development definition from World Tourism Organization 2001. Uh, sustainable tourism development means the needs of um, present tourist and the host region while protecting and enhancing opportunity for the future. Here uh, we see two major stakeholders. One is the tourist, the other one is the host community. So in the process we would like to make sure the quality of the tourist and uh, the host community's experience. Um, that's conceptually. Uh, in practical we are looking uh, lower negative impact and uh, maximize positive impact. Um, and uh, in, in, to ensure customer satisfaction, uh, increase uh, rest and quality of life. So uh, this figure shows the uh, relationship of the uh, tourist and the host community. Uh, when a tourist destination starting to uh, develop, uh, the new investment and uh, new attractions uh, come to the local community uh, and uh, increase the uh, tourist arrivals all of those uh, activities dynamic change the uh, host um, communities service and uh, their conditions. So the dynamic change the rest and the quality of life. Uh, so once their quality of life um, goes up, they tend to uh, have the better support uh, to the tourism development and uh, 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 when the resident encounter with the tourist, their uh, friendliness, their, uh, their attitude um, will change, uh, will influence the tourist experience. So that's uh, what the loop goes. And uh, this loop can go up, uh, I mean, can go positive or negative. Um, so if we see the happy resident, then the happy customer. So, yeah. So if we look into the connection, we dig into the, the connection here, we will find Okay, uh, tourism develop uh, bring the additional investment, new attraction, increasing the tourist arrivals. Uh, it, uh, the consequence 
we, we see three types of the uh, tourism impact, positive and negative economic, social, culture, and environmental in effects. Uh, they uh, all of the, the impacts dynamic change the community quality of life. So here are we uh, in the literature. I summarize the those uh, impacts. You see the uh, positive economic impact, uh, additional investment, bring the employment, uh, bring the tax revenue to local uh, to local government, and uh, in the meantime, uh, the, the it also comes the uh, negative e economic impact, like the inflation of goods, pricey land, and the housing. Uh, of course, uh, uh, tourism development bring uh, social cultural impacts. But the positive could be the um, more cultural change uh, opportunity and uh, entertainment activities. Uh, the negative side, on the downside, uh, maybe bring the, the uh, traffic traffic congestion and the crime, drugs. Uh, also, we see the, some positive side from the uh, environmental impact. Uh, uh, in, the, we have we might have the more recreation facilities. Uh, the tax revenue can bring to preserve uh, the building, historical historical buildings. So all of those uh, change the community services and the uh, community conditions. Uh, it seeks to then impact directly uh, correlate to the uh, resident uh, uh, community quality of life. But, uh, it may not be true because the, the situation may be different. Uh, for example, uh, in in Turian impact study, we may discuss the tax revenue to uh, local government, but uh, it only change our, uh, it only changes rest and the quality of life when those money goes to the to uh, public service sector. For example, like the uh, police, uh, police protection, fire protection, medical system. And uh, this is one of the issue of the, we study the Turian impact, uh, impact study. And uh, uh, the other one uh, is the, when we see the property price inflation, they might be good for the resident. They already have the uh, their, their property, but for the young generation, when they don't have the uh, when they they don't have the they expect to have the house, they might be the good for them. So they uh, they have a good side and a bad side, and. Uh, Another issue in the Twitter impact study, we ignoring the resident judgment. For example, um, when, talk, when we talk about uh, tourism development bring the congestion to local community, but the congestion uh, become an issue only when the residents, uh, they are not satisfied with that. So, um, and uh, so far, uh, current literature, uh, they partially investigate community living experience. Uh, they only identify some specific uh, uh, community life dimensions, public service, and the formal education. They are not comprehensively uh, cover the uh, community living experience. Um, there is another important issue here. Uh, we don't know the effect um, uh, the effect from the tourism or the other business sector. For example, if we discuss the rest, uh, tourism impact influence the resident quality of life, and uh, in maybe for example in Hawaii, 
you, uh, we there's 100 percent there's almost 100 percent uh, tourism tourism industry there so you can say oh tourism impact uh, change their uh, rest and the quality of life but in the uh, um, have the uh, industry complex uh, uh, destination like New York uh, how do we know New Yorkers quality of life improvement from the tourism development or the fi or financial industry or maybe fashion industry so uh, when we study quality of life um, in terms of the tourism de development perspective we need to uh, distinguish the, the, the those effects so now I um, uh, highlight three gaps uh, in tourism impact and the rest and the quality of life study. Uh, the first one, uh, we know the tourism influence rest and the quality of life in host community, but the few study have directly investigated uh, rest and the perception of quality of life. The second one, uh, uh, in the literature, we don't have the comprehensive uh, investigation on resident living experience in the destination. And the third one, uh, for most of the tourism impact and the quality of life study, we fail to distinguish be uh, between the effect of tourism itself and other modernization force. So, uh, quality of life. Uh, is the uh, complex idea. It could be measured as the happiness, subject well-being, and the uh, life satisfaction. Uh, according to Serge and uh, his colleague, um, they proposed uh, the global life satisfaction was uh, is the your satisfaction with the family, with your work, with uh, your leisure opportunity, and with with the community. All of those uh, contribute to your life satisfaction. So, following their idea, they provide us okay. Um, following this idea, uh, we can see the global global life. Um, <coughs> excuse me, global satisfaction with community. Um, uh, include the two include the two dimensions the first one is satisfaction with community conditions um, the second one is satisfaction with the community services all um, in the community conditions uh, we see the physical condition satisfaction social condition satisfaction economic condition satisfaction uh, all um, in a tourist destination all, uh, all of the roads uh, condition affected by uh, tourism impact, like traffic condition, infrastructure, and then, uh, recreational entertainment activities. Um, for the uh, satisfaction with community services, if um, it included the business sector, um, the satisfaction with the business service, the government service, and the nonprofit organization services, and uh, um, if the uh, tax, for example, if uh, tax revenue goes to the government service, improve uh, the policy and the fire protections, then, then the uh, rest and the quality of uh, life satisfaction goes up. So uh, all of those factors related, also related to tourism impacts. So here, so here I propose an approach uh, to learn related community quality of life. Uh, I call it TICO. Um, the definition right here uh, is we try to understand the resident perception of the community life satisfaction affected by tourism development uh, and the, the it comprised the two dimensions the first one is the satisfaction with community services and the, the satisfaction with community conditions um, 
each dimensions has has the several indicators. All of those indicators from the community quality of life uh, literature and the, the tourism impact studies. The measuring approach, uh, I incorporate the three types of scale, importance, satisfaction, and uh, the tourism effect. Now here you can see the uh, example right here. Um, in the yellow box, we see the dimensions, community services and the community uh, conditions. And for the uh, community services, we may measure the uh, police and the fire protection, and we uh, measure uh, resident perception of the importance and uh, the, the satisfaction on, on this service, and uh, what they think to how uh, the tourism effects on, on these services. So based on the importance and the quality of, uh, the, and the satisfaction, we can calculate the quality of life score and um, uh, multiply that by the tourism effects. We, uh, we can find the t score, score, which help us uh, uh, rank the, uh, the indicators. So here comes a case study. Uh, uh, Orange County, Indiana, U United States. Uh, this place uh, looking uh, it's the rural area uh, looking for economic diversifying uh, to help their economic. Uh, so they expect tourism as the economic tool to help the um, uh, women their economic. So uh, the the investigation for um, are the mail survey, and uh, we randomly selected three thousand household in Orange County, Indiana. We try to understand their uh, quality of life affected uh, uh, affected by tourism development, and it turns out we have the three hundred twenty four replied useful replied. So here is the uh, result from the community conditions. Here you can see uh, TQA school. They, they, uh, the residents think the uh, conditions of the culture and the historical site, uh, they are satisfied and uh, highly affected by tourism uh, development. And uh, they are less satisfy the job opportunity there. So you can see the uh, score uh, demonstrate uh, showing the ranking. And if we dig in to row score, uh, we can use the quality uh, of life score and the twin effect uh, build up the figure. You can see the X axis is the quality of life score and uh, the uh, y-axis is tourism effect. Uh, you see the job opportunity right here. Uh, highly uh, affected by tourism, but they have very low uh, <coughs> uh, satisfaction on that. And uh, we are talking about uh, the other dimensions. Uh, that's the satisfaction with community services. and. Uh, uh, the same interpretation, and uh, uh, we calculate the, uh, we multiply the satisfaction and the importance square root to the quality of life score, and uh, the t, the t cross score is from the quality of life score uh, multiplied by the uh, tourism effect. So from here, you can see. Uh, Police protection, uh, they have the higher satisfaction on the police protection, and uh, they are less satisfied the public transportation. And uh, this approach, uh, we can see, um, you can use monitoring the uh, resident uh, uh, quality of life uh, in the uh, in in a host community, and uh, uh, it can be the baseline. Can be the best line uh, major doing the longitudinal study. For example, 
this year we see the public transportation is uh, people less satisfied with that. Maybe next year the point uh, goes up. We see we may the we can comp compare the, the dynamic change on that. And also this approach we can use to compare with two different uh, as a tourist destination. So here are the uh, quick summaries of the uh, significance of this approach. Um, this approach uh, provides a theoretical underpin dimensioning and uh, measuring approach to understand the uh, resident community living experience in, in the context of tourism development. And uh, this approach directly measuring, or you can, you can say monitoring uh, resident uh, community living experience. So mainly from the community conditions and the community services. And uh, this approach incorporates uh, important set satisfaction and the tourism effect scale which provide us the uh, rich information on that. And also we, uh, we can do the uh, longitudinal or the comparing, uh, comparison study to other uh, tourism destination. Okay, now uh, uh, here we have the assigned work. Um, I would like you uh, observing, <coughs> excuse me, observing a tourist, uh, a tourism destination. And uh, if you live in a tourism destination, that's good. Or you can talk to your friend, or you can read uh, the article from the internet or any resources, and uh, try to know two questions: What are the positive and positive negative tourism impact uh, from the economic, social, culture, and the environmental perspectives, and uh, how those impacts change community satisfaction in terms of community services and uh, community conditions. That's your homework, and uh, and uh, if you are. Uh, have uh, interest in this topic. Uh, here is the some suggestion literature um, talking about the uh, uh, tourism and the uh, quality of life, and uh, the second Jenny and the Nixon. They they uh, this book highlight uh, uh, how do we the issues in, in the uh, quality tourism experience. Uh, also, we have the uh, quality of life, the concept of basic concept, policy, and practice uh, of the quality of life for Philips. And the search and his colleagues, they have the great contribution on assessing uh, the resident satisfaction with community based service from the quality of life's perspective and they further uh, validation their model. And uh, finally, uh, you can also check the article from the uh, best UN think tank, the conference. Okay, thank you, happy reading.